Yo Koso, Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Today the journey continues. Here's Aki. He's been trying to make it hard for me to start my stream here by a kind of a attacking my feet a little bit again. Second day in a row that's happened. Aki's going back to some of his kitten ways. Say hello to Aki. Bye Aki. Anyway, let's go back to the game. What does the scouter say about his power Welcome to level? Japanese Quest. I'm a Japanese teacher. And uh, we are on a journey with cats. And with other party members that you can see in chat here. Learning Japanese from Japanese games. We're kind of near the end game of Dragon Quest XI. Musical memoirs. Mr. Tin Frog. Konnichiwa. Minna Genki. We got some good words down here. The first words we learned in Japanese Quest. We'll hopefully find some new words up here. Let's go. Also, the question today you might see in the title of the stream. What are you reading this weekend? Whether games, manga, books, anything. Uh, we have right now going Japanese Quest Summer Reading Club. So what are you reading this weekend? That's the question. Uh, me, I just got a two-month subscription to... Kindle Unlimited on Amazon Japan. So I've got a lot of reading to do if I want to make use of that subscription. They had a sale, I think it was like a dollar for two months. And I was thinking of getting a book anyway that was like ten dollars that I could read for three free through that program, so I just did that instead. I find that on Amazon Japan periodically getting Amazon Unlimited or Kindle Unlimited is worth it. But there's not enough books on it for most people to keep probably all the time. But to get it like once a year or two when it's on sale, you can then boom, read a lot of books. Musical Memoir says, I'm doing well. Recently got my first vaccine. Sweet. Looking forward to the time everything gets normal again. And go to visit Japan. I'm looking forward to that day too. Wait a minute, there is a treasure here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that day too. Unfortunately, Japan is still in a space where they're uh, under an emergency declaration in Tokyo just started again. Which means all the events in Tokyo for the Olympics in two weeks will have no spectators. So we're talking about Kindle. Yeah, I'm not sure totally what you mean by that comment, but in general, Kindle is great for reading because you can just get books with one click. You can look words up with one press, very useful. Yeah, personally, when I got the... Uh, vaccine I didn't feel any side effects and I'm not sure if that's good I think that might mean my my uh, immune system doesn't work as well or something not totally sure so I think getting some side effects is probably good I did feel the pain in the arm of course but yeah I'm of the opinion that I hope everyone in Japan and the US at the very least <laughs> uh, actually the whole world can get the vaccine in the next couple months, say, because then we can go back to Japan again. If not, who knows when we can go back to Japan. Or do other normal things like go to movies and things, which I also enjoy. Anyway, so here, uh, we're back at this weird island in the sky underground. I really don't know where this weird island is. I think we have one maze remaining. If you know the levels in the game, you can probably guess what maze it is. The final one. Get our full heal. Right. We had some forging to do, but what we, re we realized we need to like level up more. 
We're still only level 57. Let's get higher level. Which means more metal slimes are needed. Here's the funnel tree. Let's do it. So what do we have here? Uh, the word here is the kanji for seedling plus the kanji for tree. Put them together. Nai. New party member, Yokoso, Japanese customer. Welcome. So, Naegi ni te o kazashimasu ka? Would you, put, would you like to put your hand up to the tree? We can say... Hai! Ah, do they? I've never seen that. Kindle Unlimited often has deals when you go to cancel. Really, I've canceled it probably like two or three times in the past. I don't remember seeing a deal, but interesting. But yeah, I a couple days ago got Kindle Unlimited in Japan. There is some stuff there is some good stuff in it right now. You can probably get a sale, maybe even better than me if you've never gotten it before. Mine was a dollar for two months. They for example had the girl who leapt through time, you can read on free for there. Um and uh, I'm right now reading a book on writing emailing quickly. Like emailing, writing fast emails in Japanese because uh, I've got to get faster writing emails in Japanese, so I'm reading that right now. Um, I might read a Keigo book because I've got to get better at that too. Uh, but they have some just good reading books too. Ooh, one other site that I should mention because I just got an email from the creator of this site yesterday. Let me see this site too. One second. Because this is relevant. I've showed this site before, but this site is quite good. Uh, so this site is called Natively. Great for reading. Let me show you the thing, the thing that I think is really good about it for reading. Here you can like show what you're reading. So these say in progress. I actually finished these. I haven't updated it for a while. So I can now say finished. This uh, this is not finished. I finished the first volume, not the second volume. Uh, but the really good thing here is you can browse by all books. That's what I like, I think. And you can see the most popular books in this whole site out of 651 books right now. These are all books being read by Japanese learners. The most popular book is this uh, graded reader series. So check it out. You can check the level of it. This series ranges from N5 to N3, so beginner until more intermediate. The second most popular book series. By the way, this is learnnatively.com. If you want to link that in chat, that'd be helpful to other people. So this manga series, the second most popular among learners. I'm sure you've heard of it. Yotsubato, 52 ratings. Wow, this one has 431 ratings, really? That must be really good. Uh, the Genki textbook series, as you know, is popular, 30 ratings. Great novel, good first book. Konbini Ningen, I've read it, I've mentioned it a lot. Convenience store person. Um, check out all the ratings, very highly rated. Crystal Hunter, someone just said on the Discord they read this for the first time. It's a graded reader, but there's a version that's more natural as well. They also have an English version. Basically, it's a manga created for the sole purpose of reading something in Japanese for the first time. Very highly rated, as you can see on here. Um, what else? So I mentioned The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. The one that's free on Kindle Unlimited is not this version with Furigana. It's a different version. Um, but I'll probably read it without the Furigana, personally. Um, this version, I think, is not with Furigana for Kimi no Nawa, but also popular. This book is good. I read this manga, Flying Witch. It's all in Hiragana for the title, Flying Witch. For the Take Him Grammar Guide, also a popular grammar guide. Kiki's Delivery Service, good book. This one, I have not read. But this is the reason I actually brought up this book, so I could find the title. Um, so the title is Fushigi Dagashi uh, and let's look at this tool 
So yeah, Dagashia is a small time candy store. As you can see, I'm not even that familiar with it, so I'm using this tool on it. And uh, so Tendo is like a, like in Nintendo, it's like a paradise or a heaven. So you could say like Sentendo. Anyway, so the title is a little confusing, but the book is only a intermediate level, N3 level. So this one is free too on Kindle Unlimited. So worth checking out. This is also on this Learn Natively site. Very much worth checking out. Of course, Harry Potter is here. More graded readers. More manga. This one I've not seen. Um, Kino's Journey I mention all the time. That's, of course, on here as well. This is a great manga too. Cheese Sweet Home. So this book is, this website is very worth checking out. I think I will, uh, Link this in the chat. Because it's just that good. If you want to find stuff to read. Yeah, IDJ said never knew about Crystal Hunters. Yeah, it's very simplistic. It's just it's just so you can get through it. And yeah, Kino's Journey, very relaxing to watch or read. Yeah, that's very good too. Convenient Ningen is a very good read, indeed. And yeah, it's a really good website. Check out the website. Find it. If you see something on it that catches your eye, do it. Um, now I'm thinking... Ah, Chuck. Good to see you. We're going to look at your website later, too, because we're talking about reading today, and you just added a new reading section that I realized, wait a minute, we're talking about reading. We should talk about that new reading section. Uh, I also want to do a tweet about this other site as well, though. Let's go to our Japanese Quest Twitter here. What did I just tweet about? Let's see. So to this weekend, let's talk about it. What are you reading this weekend? If you want to link our Twitter page, you can like this because right now the only person that's liked it is me. Um, that's okay though. I like liking my own post because then it has at least one like. I used to always make posts, it had no likes. Um, but I realized, wait a minute, it can always have a like if you like it. So yeah, join us live as we talk about things Japanese reading. That's what we're doing today. And uh, and then I linked this new thing on Immersion Kit. You saw Chalk there, that's the creator of Immersion Kit. So today we'll be checking out this great new audio reader just added to the Immersion Kit. Ooh, we got linked that we're live now by Knowledge Fellowship. Thank you, Knowledge Fellowship. So yeah, we need to check out this new Immersion Kit reader. This audio reader added to the immersion kit. It's very cool. I checked it out for about two minutes. That was long enough to know we should talk. We should talk about it. And uh, but I did want to mention I got a I got an email from the uh, the creator of this website last night uh, because I had talked about wanting to do a write up for this website before, but they had mentioned they weren't quite quite ready since it was a new site to have a write up of it yet. But now they said they were, and so this isn't really a full write up if I just link it right now, but. But even so, I feel like I kind of want to add a comment about it because we talked about that website too. Um, nah, let's just go to this one. I think what I have found is if you do a, like a new tweet, people will look at it. If you do like a, a thread that's all a somewhat, even if it's a good thread, people won't read it as much, at least on my channel. Um, but if it's just kind of like disconnected things in the thread, people won't even see it. So let's not do that. Let's go to this, to this reader though. I can do a tweet about that site later, perhaps. Huh, why is my... Okay, here we go. So it took a little while to load. Um, so we see Beginner, Intermediate. This is the Immersion Kit, but now we're on the Reading tab. So if we just click on Immersion Kit, there's the Dictionary, there's Search, and then there's Read. Let's go to Read. And let's see how it works. You can pick something Beginner or Intermediate, and this is all from, I believe... The literature at the Aozora Bunko, these uh, works that are in a, uh, they are out of copyright, so you can read them. Stoic, welcome. What are you reading this weekend? Everyone can answer, what are you reading this weekend? So I clicked on that before it was not working sometimes, so let's see if it works. 
It might be my connection is weird because of Japanese Quest. I'm not sure. Okay, it worked that time. So the cool thing about this site, let me turn off my game audio. So right now we see this, uh, I believe it's a short story. You can pick any line. And you can see it's just, it's, it's even just like clauses within sentences, not even full sentences. So it's really nice to isolate things and just hear how it's said. And uh, if you have a tool like Rikaikun, you can hover over and look at those with a translation, which is very helpful. Um, like I'm wondering if someday you'll be able to possibly click on things. Maybe not in this tool, but at some point, at some uh, different lines in this website, clicking on things for a specific word might be useful. Uh, but the really cool thing too, you can autoplay. You can just autoplay the whole thing. I was curious what would happen if I clicked that as it was autoplaying. So will it keep autoplaying now? Oh, it will. It'll still pick up where you are. To sensei wa iwaere mashita. Shiranai hito ga haitte kuru koto wa minna ni mo me... Shiranai hito ga haitte kuru koto wa... The really cool thing with a tool like this is you can repeat a line many times, which could be great then for mirroring. You can just read after it. This is the kind of thing I could see I could see using with advanced students in my classroom because it could be a great tool for uh, getting some of those nuances of a... Uh, well, different Japanese reading aspects. I'm curious what this li listening practice will be. Is this going to be a different feature here? Anyway, let's go back to the game and see what uh, Chalk has to say. What does the scouter say about his power? Yeah, this is a website. This is the immersion kit. I recommend someone links it in chat. We normally looked at the dictionary function, which is amazing, but now it has a reading function too, so worth checking out. And uh, I'm going to go up in the comments a bit so I can see some comments that I missed. Let's see here. Cool. So if someone says I'm reading a compilation of short story horror, cool. So everyone, what are you reading this weekend? That's the question. That's the title. Someone is reading Akuma no Yona Onna. That sounds interesting. Uh, so Crystal Hunter, someone read. Yeah, glad you liked it. And yeah, the reader is a good tool and the dictionary is really good as well. Chalk says, for listening practice, I intend to hide the sentences and show them after the audio is gone. Ah, cool. That does sound cool. And yeah, again, I should probably make a command for immersion kit because it's been coming up quite a bit. And uh, why don't I show you what, since people don't seem familiar with the site yet, let me show you what its primary use is currently. Let's go back to the immersion kit. So this is just the, uh, the reading section, but what's really useful right now, the main feature that's been worked on is the search function. And it gives you options of things you can try. For example, if you search kirai, to hate or to not like, let's click on that. You can put in anything here, obviously. And now you can get examples from anime. It's kind of big on this one. So like, let's see if I can bring in the other view by widening it again, possibly. You can change the view. I sometimes like the view where I can see more of them. Having both view options is a great option. Okay, you can also put the sentences in order of shorter 
to longer, which I like doing. So you can just get pretty basic stuff. I hate that. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. Except it's not true for me. Because I like milk. Uh, I would say gyunyu, ski. I like gyunyu. I less I guess in Full Middle Alchemist people really don't like milk. So this is a great feature because it has translations. It's got audio. If you click here, you can see the context in the show. Let's see the context. In Full Metal Alchemist, what's the context? Let's scroll down to the sentence. So we're saying, I hate milk. So there's still milk left over. You didn't drink your milk. <laughs> so it's great. Now you can see that context. And if you want to keep reading, you can. So great site, check it out. This is also the immersion kit, a different feature. Uh, very, very cool. Let's go back to the game. What does the scouter say about his power level? Uh, yeah, am anime grammar is on point in general. Like there's caveats, there's exceptions to everything, but in general. Anime kind of gets a bad rep, but but it's primarily just pretty normal Japanese. Let's go back to the game. It of course depends too on what anime you're watching. The slice of life anime tends to be more standard. Okay, let's uh, start here. And now it's time to go into the maze. And the question again. So yeah, thank you for linking the site. What site program is this? This is the immersion kit. Check it out. Ah, uh, yeah. Certainly, like, a lot of stuff is more conversational. Like, the kind of stuff that people might say in, like, a junior high or high school in Japan. But at the same time, like, that's the kind of stuff you might want to learn if you have friends that are that are younger like you might be. That's stuff that's good to learn. Like, people in Japan watch all this content. People in Japan sometimes talk kind of like this content. So it's a... Uh... But yeah, Yotsuba, very good reading source, as we saw on the site earlier. Second most popular thing to read behind graded readers. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, in the same sense that SpongeBob might be exaggerated and weird in some ways, at the same time, people like watching. It's totally legit English and helpful to learn from, and a lot of it's perfectly normal as well, even if there are exaggerated bits. It's a good example. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's go into this, uh, whatever this maze is going to be. Let's go in there. And so everyone, this weekend, what are you reading? What games, what manga, what books? Let's talk about this today. Let's talk all things reading today. We talked about two sites that are good for reading. One was the Immersion Kit for seeing some reading things in context from literature and from anime. We talked about Learn Natively. We had some great tips for books to read. First books, first manga, first greater readers in Japanese. The question is, what are you reading this weekend? Yeah, you'll get used to it. And I'll, I, I, of course, don't recommend studying exclusively from any one source. I don't recommend learning only from games, learning only from anime, learning only from any one textbook. I recommend if you've got your study pie chart, it's good to diversify. You do some reading. You do some listening. You do some... You get the idea. Mix it up. Lots of different things. Then you'll have a varied, good menu of your uh, 
Japanese input and eventually your Japanese output, all those things. Can anyone give me a good book to start reading for a beginner? With Furigana, of course. Uh, we kind of just looked at a, a list for that. That Learn Natively site. I linked a great list for it before. Um, probably your best bet is a graded reader. Because it has a reduced vocabulary, but if you want like a native thing for a first thing to read, the most popular one on that site was Yotsubato. For a first book, one that was recommended was Convenience Store Person, Konbini Ningen. Another good first manga can be Polar Bear Cafe or Cheese Sweet Home. But yeah, thank you for, for linking that again on Boxes. I really appreciate that. So yeah, that's the site. So basically look at that. Those are the most popular things to start with in Japanese, and they're they're all very good. I've vetted them. I have my own list for, for good first Japanese books, but uh, this one is generated by all Japanese learners, and it's it's a very good list. So thanks for the link there. Uh, let's go back to Auto Attack. So that we can get back to uh, what, we, what we like, which is attacking quickly. Yeah, thanks for the link. Yeah, music lyrics. Research has shown can be good to get a sense of the, the music, the feel of a language. Again, studying only for music. Not the way to do it, but some people from the music have definitely been helped in their language journey. Myself, I've not done much in Japanese. Although I do have a couple go-to karaoke songs. And uh, that is helpful because when you do karaoke, you tend to just get used to learning every word in that song. Okay, so you see this maze we're in. This is the final dungeon again. We're starting here, which is... I guess we're on the second floor... We can go here. Was there anything over this way? No, just to look out. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That is a good technique you've discovered. Looking up every word when you're first learning it's pretty much impossible. Not that it is impossible, but if you if you do it, most people just will stop if they have to look up everything after a while. But if you get to a happy medium of making progress, looking things up that seem important once in a while, just once in a while, what you really need is forward momentum and accepting that you'll 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 maybe only understand 80%, 60%, sometimes 20% of what you're reading, but it's okay. Just keep moving forward. That percentage will keep going up. You'll see more patterns. You'll get more used to just the mechanics of reading in Japanese. It's really about just moving forward. Ippo, ippo, susumukoto. Moving forward step by step. Ippo means one step. That's kind of what it's about. So we are here mainly to find treasures, to get stronger. We're kind of in an end game dungeon slash maze here. FVN Yokoso, Japanese customer. Anyone new? I'm a Japanese teacher. What we do, we talk about Japanese learning on this stream. We find Japanese words. You can see those words at the bottom that we've learned previously on this journey from the game. We find words in the game. We add them to the top left where it says new words here. Exactly. Keeping the flow when you're reading is the key. That's why you cannot really look everything up. You've got to just keep going. Hi, Sylvan. Konnichiwa. Good to see you. We've got a new friend here. Let's say hello. A few new friends. Let's hope we can keep them with Auto Attack. Hey, that was not bad. 
Yeah, I feel like for a starting point, that sounds pretty good, Colt. Um, like, eventually, of course, you want to get to a higher percentage for a comfortable reading pace. But I think when you're started, you're exactly right. If you're around 70 to 50%, that's when you can start to pick things up. As you go, as you keep going and make progress, that percentage will start to go up. Just by getting used to the flow and feeling the flow and getting used to it, and picking up some of the important words for that text like even within a given text that percentage will go up just because you get used to some of the words there like if you're reading harry potter ah that's the word for wizard that's the word for wand i know that now you get used to it eventually and yeah you might look some of those words up but uh the sense is you keep moving forward oh yeah that sounds good Short stories, I recommend. And I've recommended some books that have short stories, like Kino's Journey. This other one called G.J. Who has short stories and is quite good. And I think the one you mentioned is quite good, too. Why? Why would you do that? Ooh, we actually have Rez now. That's sweet. Did not know that. There's our sexy beam. Why are these guys so strong? What's going on? I guess it's because of the final level. Did he just reverse our spell? Oh, nice. Anki Dex for Yotsuba Volume 1 and 2. That looks good. Thanks for the link there. Yeah, that's the manga we talked about. That's probably the most popular one for a uh, Wow. These guys are no joke. One damage. Did we kill that guy with one damage? In the world? Yeah! Yeah, useful memoirs, I think you're right. This dragon is no joke. He's been doing his training. This guy is fairly strong. We may die. Yosh. He's got to be almost dead. Come on. Yatta, kachimashita. Oh yeah, learning language with Netflix is a is a great way to mine vocabulary, no doubt. And uh, yeah, checking out our Discord, we have a shitty toddy game that can be fun as well. Uh, I one time did a tweet about the language learning add-on for Netflix. It got something like a thousand retweets. That's how useful the tool is. Um, you can see dual translation. As you watch Netflix, you can see a line again and again. I believe, like you said, you can add things to Netflix. Yeah, very useful. Wow. That guy wiped out all our mana. We're going to be in trouble here. Ah, oh, interesting. You're waiting for the Firefox version. Okay. So our goal here is to find some treasures for the final boss, to find, well, to get through the maze, and to hopefully level up on the way. Clearly, we need to get stronger. We just got wrecked by that dragon. If indeed that was a dragon. Hmm. 
nunny. So the crystals seem to all have fallen. Can we fall down? We can fall down. So these we can get. Ah, oh, the crystals are still here. It looks like doors are locked. Some of them are locked again. We can ride this guy up again, it seems. Let's go to the entrance, which I think is here. Probably a treasure in the entrance, like the other dungeon. So yeah, the question is again, so this weekend, what are you reading in Japanese? Could be a game, could be manga, could be a book. Uh, I just got two months of Kindle Unlimited on Amazon Japan, so I'll be reading a lot, hopefully. But we actually can leave. Right now I'm reading a book on emailing. It's for Japanese people. About people who email quickly, what do they do? I spent too long on emails in Japanese, so I thought that'd be a good one to read. So Kenja no Ishi. Philosopher's Stone. Is this an item? What is this thing? I don't know if that's like an item or what. Sounds like it could be an accessory. Let's check if it is. Nope. So Baksha says, reading Kuma 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 Bear. Nice. Almost in the first volume. Very cool. Yeah, this is a good first book, by the way. You can find it for free. Because it's a web novel, first of all. You can find it for, uh... You can pay for it, too, if you want the manga or the light novel on Amazon. I have the first five volumes of Hunter x Hunter. Gonna reread in Japanese. Nice. That sounds good. So it looks like down there we have a teleporter. Let's check it out. Ooh, this was a really good one. I played this in Japanese recently too, fairly recently. Been playing Japanese 9 in Japanese every now and then. Great game, great game to play in Japanese. We should probably play that one on Japanese Quest someday. I did buy it for Switch fairly recently. I think for that one though, I had to get it in the Japanese store. For some reason, you couldn't get it in the English store. They would not offer the Japanese. Even though for like Final Fantasy VIII, I think they had both languages. Kind of random, but that's what I recall. Uh, so we teleported all the way up here. Which I think is the top floor, fourth floor. That's kind of strange. Nice. I wanted to play Sims 4 in Japanese. Interesting. Oh, that's too bad. Don't even have English. Huh. Yeah, my recommendation, whatever game you're playing, if it has the Japanese option, just try it. You might find you enjoy it. Do we dare fight this dragon? I think we dare. Let's see if we die. Auto attack. Can we win this fight? Maybe not, since Jade's a little bit of a We may die. Arigato. We will see. The good thing, even if this team is wiped, we've got another squad that can come in. Yeah, we'll be in trouble though once we run out of mana. They keep frenzying people. We really need to kill at least some of these guys. What would be really good is if we all got... If we all got, um, what's it called? Pep. 
Well, these guys are strong. We got one of them. If we all get kept up, then we can turn them into metal slime and get more experience. That's what we really need to do. Yeah. Oh come on. Good. At least we got it down just to the dragon now. Nope. Nice. Nice crit there. <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. We do want Sylvia to keep that. So let's take Sylvia out and put in another healer. There was now pep, now we just need Martina to be pepped, and then we can make yes. someone in the middle. Which hopefully will level everyone up and we can get some more mana back, which we will need. Let's take the hero out who is also pepped. Okay, so now where are we going? Quite a large dragon. Yeah, for anyone just joining, we're talking about reading in Japanese today. If you have any questions about Japanese reading, that's the topic today on our Discord. Check out our Discord. We have a Japanese reading club for this summer. People talk about what they're reading. They show pictures of what they're reading. And kind of just a way to motivate each other to read. So far this summer, I've read quite a few books. You can share on there what you've read. Or if you just want to get started reading, that's a great way too. It's a good time to start reading. The key really, if you want to read Japanese, is simply just to get started. Just read Japanese every day you will get used to it. You can start out with reading with a tool like Rikai-kun or Yomi-chan. You can literally start reading Japanese from day one with a tool like that. Not sure if I recommend it, but it is doable. So just like before, making this path before we see the final boss, this time maybe to the end of the level, not sure. The end of the maze. We make the gap if we can. So let's just review. So, so far, we've explored all this that's done. I don't think we've explored this area, this area, or any of this area yet on the fourth floor. So let's mark in red just for our brains. Okay, we've been here. And this was linked from the beginning of the level. Okay, so we're back down here. We've explored this area, so we're done here. Some good words at the bottom. Right now in Japan, I've been watching the news every day. There's been a huge rain in Japan recently. Especially in the prefecture where I lived, Yamaguchi Prefecture, and Kitakyushu, like north. 
Fukuoka. Also, around that area, there's been a lot of rain. So much so that it's dangerous. There's also so much rain, there was a mudslide in uh, Shizuoka Prefecture, I believe. And I think there's still people missing that they're looking for. At least nine people have passed away. Very bad situation. Okay, so right now, we can go that way. We could fly up. I think... So we can't go here yet. So the door is sealed. Let's go the way we haven't gone yet. And work our way up. So we're on the first floor. So far we've explored this area, we've explored the outside. But this area, not yet. These areas still blocked. So we did go there. Wait a minute. This is actually sealed this time? Nani? Wait, so all these doors are sealed. Oh wait, the right is not sealed? Nani? I was tricked, I think, because I think last time it was different. So let's go right then. Okay, so this area is open. There must be a switch here. These areas are still sealed. Let's check out the wings for treasure and then check here. I like how you can write on these mazes. We have a treasure here, good. Yo, should we have here? Looks like a sword, right? Jigoku no Saberu. So, like a hell saber, or something like that? Let's check that out. Let's compare to our current sword here. Wait, who can use that blade even? I don't know. Was it possibly a spear? Nope. Not sure where that weapon went. Could it be a wand? Anyone know what's going on with that weapon there? It's kind of strange. Oh, here we go. I guess it's a sword for this character. I don't think we generally use a sword, but uh, if we want to sometime, we can. Sweet. Mini metal. We've not redeemed those for quite a long time. We should probably do that at some point. We haven't gotten so many that we can probably get anything that good, but who knows. You could just run right around that guy. This should open one of the doors, hopefully. Oh, 
I'm glad they're specific. So, Kono Kai, so this floor, Kono Kai no Nishigawa. So, on the west side, that door has been unsealed. So, let's go there. Glad they told us because we had no idea where that was otherwise. Ooh, this looks like we could die. Let's give it a shot. So if Martina gets gets the uh, pep, that's all we need. So let's hope she can survive. With this many healers, we better be able to survive. <laughs> yeah, these would be good guys to turn into metal slimes. They'd just be easier to beat them. But I'm thinking Martino will get to his own soon, you would imagine. She's taken a lot of beatings. Wait, was that guy there before? I didn't even see that guy in the right. We just do not have this firepower to hurt these guys too much with this group. And they have high defense, it seems. That's gonna be helpful. Good, got two of them. Wow, this guy's got a lot How do you hurt this guy? Power, <laughs> oh, get pep so we can just turn this guy into a metal slime. So magic seems to work. Here we go. Now it's time. So first of all, let's change everyone to getting orders. Let's give them orders. And now let's change our lineup and make these people into metal slimes. Because then hopefully we can get some good experience. Do it. Stop. It's time to level up, hopefully. Showtime! Please turn into slime. Sometimes they do not. <laughs> yep, the. Uh... Even better for the big slime, but oh well. Please don't run away now. Good start. Okay. Decent. Okay, we can use our skill. Let's get one of them. I think this one on the side didn't get many hits. So let's take him down. And uh, I think I might want to go with her skill that can, if it gets lucky, get a crit hit, because that can just do an auto-kill. Let's try that. Oh wait, I forget, she has no mana at all. Huh. In that case, let's attack. Let's speed everyone up. Let's speed up. Everyone. Piorim! Be really nice if we could take down all three of these for a change. Ah! 
Oh no, we don't have enough mana for another one. Uh, let's... How much mana do we need for that 60-something? Do we have anything to give him more mana? Not sure if we want to waste that, but... We maybe do. Even though he might run away. It's just wasted. Hi! We need to go for it. Sword dance. Oh no, we don't have enough for sword dance. That's not good. Good, he's not running. Here we go. It was worth it. Yep, the, all three. That should be some levels. Check out that experience. Not too bad. Two levels. One level. Two levels. Two levels. Two levels. Level up in the game. Level up in real life in Japanese. That's the goal here in Japanese Quest. Some good levels. We should probably get some of these points too since we're getting wrecked in here. We gotta get stronger. So what do we need to get stronger? Uh... I'm looking at this strength over here, this HP over here, those would both be nice. Let's maybe work that way. Nice. Atari means you won. You hit on what you can win. Um, Nakama Hitori no HP o kanzen ni kaifuku. You can completely heal one person. That could be pretty good, actually. Increase your healing magic. That's good, too. Yosh, making progress. So for Kamu, I forget where we're working exactly. I think we've pretty much got everything in his two areas we were working on. What's this skill here? So now we have sword skills. But these two skills we may want. These two skills too, I'm not sure what they are. Let's work down here. Now we can see what this is. So you can you can uh suck the experience of one enemy. It's a sword skill. Probably keep working this way. So Veronica, we can get more magic power. That seems good. So you can res someone, it seems like. That would be good. Seems like a pretty cheap res if that is 100%. Increase her healing. That sounds good. So your harp skills go up, sure. So for Sylvia, we're kind of working in here. Getting some new zone moves. Just kind of picking up some of these skills, not sure what are the best skills.
Increased spear, that sounds good. Increased crit hit for spear, definitely good. More increased magic, that's what we need. Check out some of these skills we don't have yet. Ooh, zone goes up. That sounds good. Okay. Hopefully a bit stronger now. We all leveled up after all. And let's keep this group minus Kamu. So we can get back into the zone again. Put it back on auto. Okay, I think we were... We went up here, I think, already. Kelly and Kanji, Ohio. Good morning. We we're in the final maze, which is, again, the final dungeon. Finding some good treasures in here. Getting kind of wrecked as we do it, because the enemies are stronger here this time around. Got some good crystals and things, though. Whoa, that was the wrong thing. Just shot a guy with a crossbow and I was trying to pick up a crystal. The hope here too though is we can get more levels for the final boss as well. We are nearing the end of the game, yeah. My hope is we beat the game this month. In July. Hey, not bad. I think one of the new skills we got, Sylvia seems to like and seems pretty good. It's a pretty good experience there, level up. Nice. Nice to see even like normal guys giving good experience. That was actually a pretty easy fight as well. Maybe we should fight those guys. Whoa, I just shot another guy. Why? Yeah, it's true, Mbaku. That is the goal. Whoa, these guys are strong. I think those metal guys give some good experience. Hopefully we can win, though. Yeah, these guys are pretty strong. Good thing we got some healers. There we go. That's quite good in this kind of enemy. Whoa. Nice to have two healers. Take sexy beams. <laughs> Yeah, no wonder these guys give good experience. Quite strong. <laughs> this guy's gotta be almost done. Yep, you've got the uh, mode again. <laughs> Huh, why was it so much more experienced before? I wonder what that was. So we can ride this guy now. I don't know if we want to. At this point. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if we unlock some more someday, maybe. 
Let's see. Uh, we I think we opened up this door now. This guy just wants so badly to fight, though. Let's not disappoint him. He died. Oh, why do you do normal attack? Big team. That will get this done. What was that? Starlit Glitch. Konnichiwa. Hello. Good to see you. We are in a maze. The final maze, perhaps, of this game. Also looking for treasure. So here we have a teleporter. Let's not go there first, maybe. We've now explored all this area. We explored all of this area. This area is still blocked. For the first floor, we have this area to explore still, and then this teleporter. And the steps here too. The goal: find treasure for this end game maze. So we're ready for the final boss. Also to level up. Probably a treasure behind the steps, if it's like before. Yes, yeah, Starlit, Starlit glitch. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a long journey. We've been over 200 hours in this game. At this point. Probably our longest game ever, maybe. Not totally sure. Sweet, some great armor. Looks like some very high level armor we just got. Yep. Recipes. So we could go up here. get a sense of it. So second floor, I think we've so far not explored that much. Let's maybe search the last place on the first floor, which is that teleporter, see where it brings us. Should be straight ahead. Let's see where this brings us. Okay, so this brings us to second floor. So the entire first floor is now explored. I think this is where we started the, this maze on the second floor outside, so I think we explored this area and went in here. So I think we need this guy to jump up. Nice. Ah! 
闇にお知るがよいよし勝ちましたね Now we've got a ride. Uh, and boxes, yeah, that sounds, that sounds right. Or would it be like chew for kiss? Skeleton, konnichiwa. We made up. We needed this just for that little bit. Oh no. Some more friends. Okay, so second floor. Let's map out where we've gone, where we need to go. Okay, so we haven't gone here yet. Yeah, I think we haven't gone any of these places as far as I know. Let's find some treasure. Getting chased by some bearded devil creatures. There's a treasure. Yusha no Kabuto. Ooh, nice. We found the helmet of the hero. I think we need. I think we need to wear that. That's the thing that's like from every Dragon Quest game, or at least the really old one, Dragon Quest Three. I think that's the same helm. Sweet. Let's do it. Check it out. Stops. Sleep. Stops. Confusion. Stops death and spell seal, at least to some degree. If you have also the Yusha cloak, it will change your appearance and you can reforge it to make it super strong. Yeah, this is an awesome item. Good find. It's lame we can't see it right now because obviously that would be on his head. Oh well. It's just not fair. Now we'll just need to find that uh the Yusha's armor. Maybe this guy has it. Alright, so now we need to change our lineup because we have at least some of what we need. Martina is in the... Well, she's glowing, so we need her to st stay glowing. So let's take her out of the group. New, uh, oh no, that's not good. Hopefully that new hero's helm is protecting us somewhat. Nice. Oh. 
here. Wait a minute, we have the hero in zone now too. Let's take the hero out. We just need Sylvia now to make the zone. There we go. We're good. Oh no, don't kill him. So change everyone now to orders. And let's take this guy down. Let's change our lineup. Let's get some slimes. Hope for a big slime. do it. Please become slimes. Big metal slimes. So we can get more Clearly we still have to get stronger for this final boss. Now, please don't run away. One down. Let's increase the speed of the person who really matters. And we know who that is. That is uh, our thief with that attack. Can kill them very quickly. Speed Daiichi! Nice. We landed a crit. Not bad. Let's end this here. Yep, we got all three again. Not bad. Level up. Two levels. One level. Two levels for our hero as well. Not bad. Getting stronger. New spell as well. Let's give these points so we can get stronger again. That's what this maze is all about after all. So the hero, I think we're working over here. Ooh, increased zone, that could be good. Although he does have auto zone anyway. I kind of forgot about that. Or HP, not quite there. Come you, we're working down. We can now break these two. Increase more attack magic. Yep, let's do it. Ooh, we sometimes get double attack. Let's get that next. Zone up. Sounds good to me. Stop death. Could be good. Queen whips, so that's a whip skill. We're not using whips. We are using spears though. Let's increase that. So this is a perfect raise. Let's definitely do that. We need a better raise skill. Let's 
just get more of these skills around here. Increase zone. Looks good. Oh, nice. Metal Slime Hunter. Not bad. Okay, going down here. Let's change our lineup. Let's go back to auto attack. Seems to be working. Right, I forgot there are treasures on the side. We should get those too at some point. So the south, I think we've not checked out yet, so let's do that. Right, we need the one guy to get through this area, I think, to ride. Where is that guy? Not here. There we go. Got to ride this friend again. Getting a bit stronger. Okay, so now we can access this area. Let's do it. We can also do Toshin. Rush forward. Hopefully a treasure switch down here. Big treasure. Not sure if it's a good one. Looks like a thing we can fight. With our res. Luckily, that one might work better. Hi. 
This guy's no joke. Seems to have some hit points. That was just death. Nice. How strong can a box with teeth be? Really pretty strong. Another death. Good thing you just got that res. Fine. Yatta. Not even that much experience. But there is a treasure. Good. Star Glitch, your name reminds me of the new member on Discord. Oh, what is that name? Yeah! Getting low on mana. These fights could get more interesting if we run out. Alright, Glitch Cog, that's right. Level up. Oh, did I have the same question for? Funny. I asked so many random questions about names, I, f I forget some of them. Yeah, Glitchcog is a solid name, I think we can all agree. By the way, check out the Discord. Glitchcog has been recently posting quite a bit in the Japanese conversation section of the Discord. We've been talking to you about the, uh, the Summer Reading Club section of the Discord. And again, I might ask, what are you reading this weekend? I hope you'll be reading a lot, because I just got Kindle Unlimited on Amazon Japan, which means you have access to a lot of books. And I got a, a deal where for two months you can read all these books for just a dollar. After that I think it's like ten bucks a month. Which I'll probably cancel it after that, unless I find more to read. Alright, I think you can jump down here. There's a teleporter here too. Let's jump for it. Another mimic, why? A blinkless service? I don't know what that means. What is a blinkless? There is. You can get summaries for books on the go. All mana gone for Martina. Let's hope we get a zone soon so we can get some more experience. This stealing mana thing is not cool. Power, <laughs> app that summarizes books. 
encapsulates each chapter of the book into a paragraph. Ooh, that's actually really cool. Wow, you have an interview in Japanese. Sugoi. Gambare. Okay, so we're back on the second floor, it looks like. So second floor, I feel like we've not really explored too much yet. So let's do that. Yeah, good luck on the interview. I think we've not gone down here yet. Looks like we've got a treasure. Please let it not be a treasure that fights us again. Nice, that's gonna be good for crafting. We got three of those serpent stones or whatever they're called. Wait, did the map just change? I think I pressed a button to make it go up. Ah, there we go. Ah, you can go up with the arrow buttons, okay. So I think now we went here, we went here, we kind of went here already, so I think, I'm thinking now we go here. Although we may have started from over here, didn't we? Yeah, maybe so. In that case, we can maybe use one of these flying guys for a change. So I think we started from this, the second floor on the side. And then I think we jumped down here. Which means we can probably jump down again. Yaruayo! My standing up here so you might hear some sounds. The challenge with the standing position is the kitties may well pass it out. We really could use that zone right about now. Yosh, level up. We need that so we can get some mana back.
cool. More crystals. Do I know? Do we need them? I don't know, but they could very well be helpful with crafting. My rule of thumb: if you find gems on the ground, pick them up. Especially in a dungeon. Nice. Very nice. He must be close to zone, you would think, if he's been taking a beating. Starglitch, have a good night. Oh, yes, yeah, Final Fantasy 12. Konnichiwa. Good to see you. And I'm reminded again, good game. Final Fantasy 12. We got a ride. Going up. So now we can go up and explore these side areas. Which seem to have some treasures. Ooh, five mini medals. I'll take it. We gotta check that item out. We just got some kind of a uh, cape. Who is it for is the question. I do not know. I'm sure there's an easier way to find this stuff out, but I just don't know it. Be something we already have? I don't know. Yep, I'm not really seeing it. Yeah, I'm not sure what we just got. Oh well. Items in this game are pretty confusing. And it's not just because it's in Japanese. It's just confusing in general. Yoruno Tobari. That was the same thing, wasn't it? What is that? How can you search for things like that? Yeah, it'd be nice if you could search for things properly somehow. Like, it looked like an item, right? Like an equipable item? Confusing.
you can sort items. Yeah, I know you can somehow, but uh, I'm failing with the best way to do it. What is the best way to do that? You go to Dobu. You go to Dobu Bukuro. You can put next. Put them in order of type. Uh, so it puts them like in alphabetical order. This is it. Alphabetical order did help. So yeah, it tricked me because it totally looks like a cloak. It's just like a fabric you can craft with, I imagine. So that was quite an adventure. Yeah, thanks for the comment there. The sort did help. We opened this one already? Not yet. So that one I do know what that is. That's a big evolution stone. good crafting stuff I imagine. So we're here at the top floor and for this top floor so far I think we went here. Yeah I think the outside teleported us there. Maybe it's telling us here with this Sylvia just get a zone? Yeah, so let's check, change our lineup. Now that uh, we've got no mana left for a healer. I'm switching a different healer actually.
Okay, so we have not gone here or here yet. Let's try the teleporter. Good, we're now in this wing. We have been to this wing, I believe. Now we can explore this one. We've got these devil guys here. They are no joke. Are they kind of like a super buff Aladdin? Kind of. Exactly. Tabby. Okay, so we're building up that area. I think we can go the sides now. That is good. I think there may be a treasure here, not sure. Not sure what that is. Anyone know what a slime crown is? So we've now explored this whole area, this whole area. Maybe not this area. But we still have to go here. Yeah, the third act is long. We had a lot of story before, but now these mazes, since they have you do these uh, mazes again. It's a lot as well. We must be close to zone. Please tell me we're close to zone. We need to turn these guys into slimes. Yeah, I bet you're right, Unboxes. Okay, now we just need Hero in zone, which we can do. Let's uh, let's switch this up, because Hero has Auto Zone. That sounds that sounds like a car company, Auto Zone, but we have it. Um, let's figure this out. Let's go to our group of Zone people. So let's try our new zone skill. Oh no, come on. We don't have enough mana to do zone skill. Give me a break. Do we have an item for mana, perhaps? Time to waste it. Wow. So yeah, we went, we need her to not die. Doesn't she have a skill? Whatever, let's just defend. Please make this work. Please heal everyone. Okay, 
Okay, now let's get zone. What if he just got zone right now anyway? That would be funny. Okay, now we're gonna go. Let's do it. This guy, I know he wants to become a big metal slime. Come on. <laughs> oh no, it's not a metal slime. Guys are gonna kill us. This is terrible. This is bad. That's what happens when you get unlucky. Oh well, let's go back to auto attack and hope we survive. We bad now though for a man situation. Martina chan. Is a waste of our mana. After a while, oh well. Think, seems like we'll win. Minagiru, I'm old. Yosh. That's just normal attack. With crit, of course, but not bad. Alright, I think we're going back to that teleporter. Now that the sides are opened up. to be here. Yeah, we're gonna come into mana problems soon, it seems like. Zone attack. We better switch our lineup. We simply need a healer. Damage on these arm armored guys, it seems. Moody Schneider. Uh. 
Wait, they keep regenerating these guys? That's not good. Although it may get us into the uh, zone, I guess. They just keep coming back. Well, I, at least we'll get the experience for all of them, but that's kind of ridiculous. So Martina now is in the zone. So is Sylvia. And again, we don't have mana to get ourselves into it. Let's not waste this time. Let's change people out. Whoa. What was that? Who are these people? Because they're in the zone, they're like super strong. I think we may die. Yep, looking like it. What is going on right now? Oh well, we're fighting to the end, I guess. I don't know what just happened there. This is gonna mess up our zone, though. sure if we should get game over right now. Do you think we can run away or something? How do we get half our team wiped on this nonsense? This is kind of ridiculous. The question is, can we actually win this fight? I think we can. Maybe not though. Step one, heal Sylvia. We're probably gonna die. Arigato. Steps two, check what items we have. We can bring someone back to life. We can get some mana back. In that case, let's bring back someone to life. in such a battle, but... We need mana now on, a uh... Okay. We need zone. Oh no, come on. Great play here. That knocking out of our move on Akira just gave us a bad situation. So that slap skill we have, we just probably can't afford it now. Not sure why these guys seem so strong right now. It's 
that's not good. How do you wake up our party member? No, that's what we didn't need. Uh, I think that kills the zone that we had. That was the one thing that couldn't happen. I don't think we had a res. Yeah, we're gonna be in trouble now. Yeah, the zone is gone, so we're done. We can't beat these guys. Let's try to run away. That didn't go well. Good news, we have two people in the zone. Bad news, no one has mana right now. Except Veronica, let's put her in. Okay. That was educational. Let's go back to waste all your mana mode. Because it's just faster and usually it works. That seemed like a bad grouping. Too bad to run from that fight because we did kill a lot of them, but oh well. So I think here. There are treasures. Ooh. Ooh, new recipes. A lot of very good weapons. We got the recipe for it, Piers. How do you read words that are made up for video games? You kind of just guess and move on. The same way that native speakers would do it. It's a skill that's important in Japanese. Guess a word, move on. Not worry about it too much. That's the way to do it. So we can go to these sides now. Let's do it. Scared of these horse guys now. Let's not fight them. Sweet, we can now go to the final teleport. Good question, though, in the chat there. I've seen Japanese people stream games quite a bit. 
And often the reality is native speakers too just guess how to read words. They're sometimes wrong. They're often right. Then you just move on. Sometimes if you don't know a kanji reading, you don't even have to guess. Just guess the meaning and move on. So the first floor finally opened. I think we need to go down there because I'm guessing this thing is probably the end of the maze. So I think we jump back down the middle, get to that first door for the final treasure. Hopefully it's something good. It would be nice to uh, get a heal as well. It seems like there's not a healing thing here like there was in the other game. I think we could just jump off. Final treasure should be up here. Hopefully. Ooh, three treasures. Let's go. We find out, I think this is all the robes. We got the mage's robe, the mage of Serenica. Seiken no robe. Let's equip that right away. Check it out. We've got the full Serenica outfit now. The legendary armor. Pretty sweet. Ooh. We've got the warrior armor as well. Eiyu o no yoroi o mitsuketa. So we got the word for armor, we got the word for hero, and the word for king. We got the warrior king's armor. Get ready on boxes if you're still there, because we now have the half cut off shirt, I believe. Get ready. Check it. We got the full hero armor. You can finally see Hendrix abs. <laughs> Get hyped. We got the full cape. We're ready to go to the grocery store. Let's do it. And now, I think we might know what's in the middle one. Let's go. Hero's armor. This was a nice treasure room. Good thing we didn't skip it. Check it out, we are now the legendary hero. We've got the headgear and everything. How do you zoom in? There we go. Now we are ready to save the world. At least mostly. And all of that stuff can be reforged as well. Yeah, it's very cool. That all the all of a sudden we can change all these outfits. Sylvia, we gotta find a new outfit too, although the normal outfit's good. Bro needs an outfit too. So does Kamu. Nice. I think we've finally completed the maze.
Whoa, no, I don't want to shoot you. Oh, well. Hopefully we can beat these people with no mana. Oh, no, not this guy again. Looking good, though, with our new outfits. Good. Killed that guy. We can spawn other ones. Veronica! ありがとう。せーの。ありがとう。いや。うん。はっ。はっ。諦めるな。Whatever it was, it worked. We need to ride upwards back to the end of the maze. I think we've discovered everything pretty much. These enemies around here are no joke. <laughs> Time to fly up. To the top. Now with our full hero armor. I'm glad we at least have a little set. It means we didn't miss the main armor pieces. I think that's the main stuff you need in these mazes. The full sets of hero armor for the warrior, sage, and hero. There should be the end. Sa. Ikimashou. That took a while, this final dungeon again, with stronger enemies. Finally made it, now we can finally heal our mana back, hopefully. And save. Two hundred six hours, not too bad. I think we'll end the stream here for today, and uh, next time with these new outfits, we will see what is ever is in that in that glowing area. We'll take on the boss that goes on that's through that door, and we will take on the boss, the final boss soon. Now that we've done all these mazes, so I will say, ja. Mata and I have a great weekend. If you want to share what you're reading, check out the Discord. You can share what you're reading. I'm going to be reading 
Ciao, Matane. See you next time. Should be next Monday, I believe. Same time, 9 a.m. Central. Ciao, Matane. Let's find some of the host. Let's spread some Japanese reading hype around Twitch. Let's see who's out there. Twitch, let's see who's out there. Game Grammar. Let's host Game Grammar again. It's time. Time to raid Game Grammar as we often do. Start raid in a bit here. Ja! Matane Japanese Quest will continue. See you next time. Chalk, Skeleton, Tebby, Unboxious. Ja! Matane. Kelly and Kanji too. Ja! Matane, see you next time. Japanese Quest will continue.